Thanks for being here. All right, man. Good to see you. I'll see you. Good to see you. Uh, we have a lot of really fun, great people on this show, but there are very few people that get my staff as excited to have on the show. Oh, they all came they've back. They've gotten excited. That was nice. That was very nice. Have they come out and said they said hi to you? Everybody, yeah. That's really nice. It's like you and like Kermit and Cookie Monster. Those are the <laughs> ones. You're very. You could be a Muppet. That's the Trinity. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> what would, how would you describe uh, what you do? Because you've been doing it. I mean, for the rest of us, I mean, you might have been doing it beforehand, but since 1979 with My Bologna. Yeah, yeah. Your tribute to My Sharona. Right, right. What do I do? Yeah. Um, what is it you do? It's kind of hard to pigeonhole me. I, mean, I guess I'm, a, I'm, I'm kind of a hyphenate, I guess. I'm sort of a parodist, satirist, singer, songwriter, uh, director, producer, comedian, actor, accordion player, sex god. <laughs> the last one. Is it kind of re redundant to say accordion player and sex god? I don't know. <laughs> it's nice work. It's nice work if you can get it. Yes, it is. Now, uh, I was going to, I want to ask you about the accordion. Uh huh. Do you think that uh, when you were younger, if you had learned an instrument that people enjoy hearing, what? That maybe, <laughs> that maybe you wouldn't have gone into parody because accordion, basically, you want to hear a polka? Yeah. Or stroll past my table in Europe while exactly. I'm eating, or something yeah. like that. Yeah, what, yeah. You, how'd you get with the accordion? Was, you know, it was, well, my parents made that life-altering decision for me. They had, they, they had the foresight to realize that if I played the accordion, I would have to find my own path in life. And go a slightly different way. Mm -hmm. If I played the guitar, yeah, I, I don't know that I'd be like doing like funny music because it's not, you know, it's not that different from everybody else. How come after 40 years you don't look any different? <laughs> Did you sell? How is this possible? I have I have visibly aged since last September. How? <laughs> How is it that you are you? How are you like you're like a frozen caveman? How is it that you yeah. have stayed so fresh? Did you I, sell your soul to the devil? That's part of it, but the other part was, uh, you know, I I, uh, I I rarely leave my hyperbaric chamber. That's very important oh, to me. Very important.